Whoever you are watching this, I want you to stop and think. Think back to the last time you stared up into the sky and wondered about all the mysterious aliens that could possibly be roaming around our galaxy. You might have been a kid, you might have even been in your early 20s. You might have thought that there was no way you would ever get to see such cool things, at least not in our lifetime. Well, here's some great news. There's an entire world of alien-like creatures living right here in the ocean, a place that is arguably far cooler than space. The first time I cried underwater was in 2008, the island of Curacao, way down in the southern Caribbean. It's beautiful there. I was studying these corals for my PhD, and after days and days of diving on the same reef, I had gotten to know them as individuals. I had made friends with coral colonies. Coral reefs are one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. Over a billion people depend on them for food since they house and feed fish that humans eat. Coral reefs are as a whole worth $172 billion, and they could be home to the next major medical breakthrough. There's just one problem with these amazing creatures. It's that they're dying, and we're the ones killing them. The Great Barrier Reef along the coast of Australia is considered one of the greatest natural wonders of the world. But its health and its future are very much in doubt. Since June of 14, we've had continuous bleaching somewhere in the world. Globally, over 70% of the coral reefs around the globe have been exposed to the high temperatures that cause bleaching. Here's how bleaching works. Corals get their vibrant colors from algae living in their tissues. When they expel the algae, the coral then turns completely white. This can be caused by warmer water temperatures, more acidity, or dredging. Bleached corals are more subject to mortality. This can cause economic disasters by undermining the tourism industry, deprive fishermen of their main source of income, and force people to find more expensive forms of protein. Coral bleaching is most common in southern eastern Asian countries, off the coast of Australia, near Saudi Arabia, and the United States and Mexico. 93% of the Great Barrier Reef has already been bleached, and majority of Florida's coral reef track is dissolving into water. Coral bleaching is the biggest epidemic of our century. Reducing our carbon footprint is the only way to change things. Walking, biking, or riding the bus instead of driving, planting a tree, and even supporting climate legislation are all key. Do the future a favor, do our coral reefs a favor, and most importantly, do yourself a favor. Stop polluting the earth.